This case is a crime that's haunted one family and dominated the media for 15 years. A world's nightmare. And that is for the McCanns. At the Ocean Club, a holiday resort in Praia de Luz in Portugal, an area and a place that I have visited multiple times. In fact, it's a crime scene that I've visited more than any other crime scene of any other case that I've worked on. And that is apartment 5A and the surrounding area. The 3rd of May, 2007. And in apartment 5A is where on that night, Madeleine McCann was put to bed in the same room as her brother and sister. Whilst Jerry and Kate, mum and dad, went to the tapas bar and had dinner with a group of friends. Between them, they'd arranged a babysitting service, checking on each other's children. About five past nine, Jerry left to do the first check on the children. They'd agreed amongst themselves that they at different times would go and check on the children. He went into the apartment and checked on Madeline. Madeline, he says, was there. But the position of the bedroom door had slightly changed. This was his account. Now he leaves that and he goes back to the group where they were having dinner in the tapas bar. Five minutes later, a friend, Jane Tanner, went to check on her children. She later told the Portuguese police that she saw a man carrying a child on the street outside. And that was the first sighting of an individual as a possible suspect. We can see there the image the that she came up with that was drawn by a police artist. 15 minutes later, another friend checks on the McCann children, but did not go into the apartment. Then, around half an hour later, Kate leaves the group at the tapas bar and goes to check on Madeline. She goes into the apartment, into the bedroom, and when she walks into the bedroom, she says that she saw the front window of that bedroom open. And Madeline had gone. She then, in a panic, runs back to the tapas bar. And at that point, she raises the alarm. The then resort become involved. They contact the police and the police arrive. Speculation then mounts as to what could have happened to Madeline. I was in the resort 72 hours after her disappearance. It was now attracting worldwide media attention. Everybody was covering it. And we started to see that there was certain information being fed into the Portuguese media. And in fact, the investigation had turned. It had turned towards Jerry and Kate. And what followed was a Portuguese police detective, Amaral, following a line of inquiry that Jerry and Kate, he believed, were involved in the disappearance of Madeline. Now, Jerry and Kate have always denied this and said very clearly that Amaral has never produced any evidence to support his opinion. And later, Amaral was removed from the police investigation team into Madeleine McCann's disappearance. I've asked Mr. Amaral a number of times for an interview for him to explain to me what evidence he has to make the allegations that he has made. Then, in 2020, there was a major development when the German prosecutors announced that they had a prime suspect in the disappearance of Madeleine McCann, and they came out very confidently and said that they believe Christian B is responsible for the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. He went out into the world's media, giving the identity of two phones that he said were being used by Christian B, and significantly on the night of her disappearance, placed him outside the apartment in Praia de Luz where Madeleine was taken. In 2020, I asked, uh, sorry, in 2022, I undertook an investigation for Paramount and Channel 5, and my investigation showed that Christian B had an alibi, and furthermore, that the police were not actually able to place him in Pride de Luz on the day Madeline disappeared, nor were they able to say that he was using the phone on the number that they'd circulated. My conclusion is based on considerable evidence I've seen and spoken to Christian B or communicated with Christian B through his lawyer. And yes, Christian B is a convicted child sex offender who groomed children, but he is not a child abductor in my opinion. And therefore, whoever has, did, abduct and murder Madeline, because it's now confident the police have recorded it as a murder, means that that individual is still at large. And why am I talking about this case now? Well, the 3rd of May, is 15 years anniversary and to date and still 
We have no idea what happened and where Madeleine McCann is.